everyone, I'm Sophia and I will briefly go through my COVID experience, my lockdown experience, I suppose. Um, first and foremost, I think this is totally unprecedented and no one expected this to happen, of course. It's awful, really. Um, and I really hope that we push through this and, you know, fingers crossed. But my experience has been up and down, really. Um, it all started with the first lockdown. I was actually living with my grandma at the time, me and her. And because of the lockdown, um, I felt I was a key worker as well. I was working in a supermarket. So I just felt like it was unsafe for me to be around her. So I kind of was exiled from the house um, and I moved in with my mother and my sister. And I, I haven't really seen my um, grandma since really. It's been almost a year. I've seen her maybe three times. And that's tough. I think that's a really tough thing for a lot of people, being separated from their loved ones, their family, especially grandparents. Um, you know, I got a lot of comfort and, and love and I felt safe around her. And, you know, she's my grandmother. And not having that has been really tough. So fingers crossed vaccines get rolled out. I can give her a hug again. I haven't touched her since March, so that'll be good. Um, yeah, I moved in with my mother and my sister. That was okay. Um, my workplace at Top Golf, Top Golf was open-ish. It was keeps opening and closing, so at least I was getting some sort of income there. Um, thankfully, I also have my internship, so I'm kind of one of the lucky ones where I can kind of work from home. Whereas I feel that a lot, a lot of young people, especially, might not have that. A lot of young people work in retail or they work in pubs or bars and. Um, it's difficult. I know that it's really difficult when your kind of income is slashed or you don't have that social element anymore. Um, it's really difficult, especially, you know, if you respect the rules and you do stay home. Um, it's, it's tough, not only financially, but I think that social element, you know, we're, we're humans, we need that. As, you know, even myself, I, I consider myself quite a, a lone wolf. I like my own company. But these lockdowns have really shown me that I do need to be around people and I do get um, something from being around people. So that has been tough. Um, that, that's it, really. I mean, we just, I, well, what else can you say? You just have to wait and see what the situation um, kind of evolves into. Hopefully this is the last leg. And uh, yeah, I think we just all have to be supportive of one another, uh, check up on each other. You know, we have our phones, at least we still have that. So that's the next best thing we can do, really, because we can't be with each other. It's difficult as well, because as a young person, you're kind of conflicted because, you know, OK, if I do catch it, if I don't have an underlying health condition, I'll probably be OK. You know, it will be a breeze for me. But then you have to think, well, if I do get it, I can potentially pass that on to so many other people, including older age ranges, and really do some damage. So it, it's kind of you're conflicted, like, well, I want my freedom and my, you know, liberties, but it's really difficult, but that's a part of living in a society, in a community. So it, it, is, it is tough. It's really tough. Yeah. And we've not really experienced anything like this before, not kind of my age range. So, yeah, it's tough.